how to password protect a directory with .htaccess. Hello and welcome. In this video session we're going to password protect a particular directory using .htaccess file. Okay? Let's say this is a directory that I want to password protect. So what I have to do is simply create two files. Okay? Um, if, you, you, if you're using Windows, simply a normal text file, open it up, okay? and then save it as all files dot access. Let's save that. Let's also create another file and name it as dot ht my xyz or anything else that you want okay so for this tutorial let me go my xyz let me save that now what i've got is i've got two files one is dot ht access and the other one is dot ht my xyz file okay keeping in mind that dot version so therefore when we save it make sure we're going with all files okay simply using the notepad will do the trick let me close that up and let's open those two files as we can see we've got that file and also this one here so basically you open that up whether you're using the notepad or any other program right so now we've got some dot htaccess directives here okay some information that is required for that password protection to work now surely you can go to apache um, website and then read more information if you saw please okay or if you haven't done so already so we've got the first line saying authentication type all we're doing is saying basic and also we're saying authentication name and we can write anything we want in here okay anything you want also this authentication user file now this is the path to th that uh, file we've just created earlier okay so the path you need to give the full path of where that file is located now surely for simplicity's sake i've i've named it as such because i know uh, my hosting provider as in where my website resides okay where my files resides it's in it's in um, this path okay so this is important for you to to get a hold of now you can you know let's say let's say this is the folder that I want to password protect within that folder you can um, you know simply run info.php okay now if you were to run this then it's gonna show you that file path or you can simply edit that because when you edit it it is more than likely that you will actually see the path here as well as you can see okay so simply then it's a matter of getting that path and placing it in here okay now we because we will be uploading both files into that folder okay and now what goes into this file here Okay, we're going to look at that in a minute but also we need another line which says require valid user so therefore this is at basic level this is what we need to get everything working now for this file what we need to do is simply go to this URL okay you surely there is other password generators but I found this to be most user friendly because it allows you to quickly um, you know put the username and password and it'll encrypt it using different encryption methods as we can see and you can use crypt or md5 or sha1 you know if you run into problems because of 
um, encryption and all that so therefore you can perhaps test md5 even though your server may say oh it's taking crypt or md5 and all this stuff right so therefore i think this particular website has everything in place it's just made of choosing the one that your server understands right so let's just go rank ya you, you can type any username surely and password okay simple password and what it's going to do then is let's say we'll use this one here or you can use this as i've said okay let's just use this and generate that detail and as we can see it's gone ahead and actually encrypted the details that i've just placed in here so therefore what goes into that file is those details okay so all you do is you paste the details right because then this is the username and this is the password you provided in its encrypted format okay so then it's just a matter of uploading these these two files where are we let's go back in there it's just a matter of uploading those two files into that folder okay now once you do that okay, let me delete this error log thing so we don't get confused okay now once everything is uploaded into that private folder what will then happen is if someone wants to request that folder as we see i then have to provide those usernames and passwords for me to access that folder this was the password as we can see now whoever requests this they will have to enter the password or else they will not see the information okay so now we know how easy it is to password protect our directory using .htaccess file uh, we then have to consider a couple of important aspects of um, providing security for your directories and files now for the sake of simplicity i have used a folder and i've actually placed that password file into that folder whereby you know if you've been reading around online then you would have seen what it tells you is to actually place that particular file not in public underscore html folder because this is all visible through the web right but it suggests to you to place it somewhere else in your in your um the private section of your hosting okay so keep that in mind when you want to password protect certain directories on your website okay so once again for simplicity's sake i have placed all those information into this full path but it is suggested to you you can perhaps create a um, new folder okay and then place that file into that folder and then upload it upload that into that folder because that's what apache is going to do it's going to look for this file using the the path that you provide okay for so, so therefore to be more secure don't use the method as in you know don't just place that file into the folder that you want to protect okay that's not smart instead put it somewhere high above which means it's not accessible through the web okay i thank you very much for learning with me um, if you haven't subscribed to Rank SEO Services YouTube channel, I strongly encourage you to do so because I will be adding more useful videos for website owners like me and you. Thank you very much. I'll talk to you in the next video session.